All right, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video, I'm very happy to bring you all this one right here because we are going to be discussing the Thunder Red Jordan 4 and I actually do have a pair in hand right here to show you all. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it, show you all how my pair looks, the details to it, what I paid. Uh, since I did not get my pair for retail, sadly, I didn't even focus enough on this uh, release for retail since uh, at the time of this release, I had put like all my money into like a bunch of different crypto projects, which did work out. It did work out. So. So at least that worked out, you know, if that hadn't have worked out, you know, where I'd missed this release and my crypto projects I invested in and just failed, that would have been a bad day. But everything worked out so we good we're here with this video if y'all want more content like this feel free to subscribe and like again let's make the like goal in this video something simple how about we just say something like 210 likes again if we can hit that that'd be dope if not i'm not stressing it. again it's not the end of the world but dropping the like helps your boy's channel get out there more and obviously it lets me know that y'all rocking with it so that's it and let's get into this video everything is down below and leave any questions you got there too in the comment section so first things first about the thunder red jordan 4 a couple things i will first address about this one i will discuss the whole aspect of the shoe the sneaker investment whole thing about this but we're mainly just going to discuss how this one looks first since there's a lot of people that bought the shoe to wear now when i got the shoe in hand i'm not going to lie i was more impressed by the colorway uh than i was by the pictures i actually thought the pictures were really nice but when i got this one in hand i was like okay this is actually pretty nice like aside from the material and you know that being something i could easily get dirty um i i was not stressing that point really i mean i was just looking at the colorway and i was like all right these these are hitting pretty well these are hitting just right and uh you know this would be something that i would be willing to add to my personal collection now me finding something to wear with this would probably be difficult but in terms of just having this jordan 4 in the collection uh, that's kind of something i would want but of course some people were complaining about some glue stains on their pairs my pairs as you guys can see shout out to nike they at least kept mine fairly clean i mean like there it really isn't any like glue stains or errors on my I'm like really looking i got lucky with my pair but the main reason on why this pair has had some of its uh you know popularity affected is because a lot of people have been getting their pairs and apparently grade school pair quality on these is just unbearable like some people have just been having to return their pairs to apps uh or not return their pairs to apps but i i, I guess that's what's been going on you know some people have been getting refunds at least or like sending them back just because quality has been so bad so i mean it's crazy how you know as we get later into the uh you know further on into the years nike's quality control continues to fade while they continue to charge more it's just kind of a wild world we live in but that's the reality of most brands and corporations they're here for your money not for your general satisfaction well sometimes but <laughs> mainly they're just here to see if they can get their sales but a couple other details too y'all can see again that red and black on the sole along with the white jump man right there i think that whole pattern really fits well together and i'll i'll give you all some up close details just so y'all can see again an unworn pair that we got right here that's why i decided to purchase and i got two size 10 and a half for 600 dollars so let me know what y'all think about that deal right there did i get ripped off did i kind of win the deal 600 dollars for two size tens uh shout out omar's uh i think it was omar kicks on instagram shout out him i'm not gonna like pop it up or anything just because i'm i'm not really gonna spend too much time editing this video i got a fairly busy day your boy still is in college so you know we got to focus on that um you know down here in charleston you know charleston charlotte that's where we're from uh that whole area carolinas but uh yeah getting off topic again just really looking back into it again uh the whole red and black theme on this shoe really fits well together especially this part i really like the tongue with the white jump man just the red white and black i think it all fits together uh pretty well and obviously the inside of the shoe there you go no real crazy details just same old same old and these again this shoe hits a lot better in hand that's one thing i want to mention this shoe really does hit in hand i really like it like at first I did not think the shoe was going to hit the same in hand, kind of like the Lightning 4s. Lightning 4s completely deceived me. Like, that was a complete curveball. I thought that they were going to be way more yellow in hand. And when I got them, I was like, okay, uh, just not the case. But, you know, it is what it is. I wasn't too bummed about it. You know, at least I got my pair in my collection of Lightning 4s. And this will eventually be same down the line. I will be adding these uh, just because these are clean. These are really clean. I got... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. These are, this is this is going to be one that people are gonna be you know upset about quality control, uh, control upset about quality control. And they're not gonna buy their pair and they're gonna regret it because there is still some good pairs out there, plenty of good men's pairs out there. 
Uh, I'm sorry to hear that grade school quality is so bad. It's not shocking. Just Nike's not been good on that recently. And uh, yeah, basically that's my thoughts on this one so far. Overall looks, I really think it looks nice. So why don't we get into the seller hold aspect of it? The whole, you know, I know most people watching this video are here wondering, okay, Tristan, how long should I hold this shoe for? What do you think it'll go up to? So why not get into discussing that? How many pairs I'm probably gonna try and hold just to keep it real. And uh, yeah, how safe of a hold I think this is. Let's get it. So with this shoe as a sneaker hold, just to kind of get this out of the way right off the bat, I probably would hold this one for six plus months. This is not one of those holds that is going to be kind of a short term one. While it could probably go up in the next three months, I think that is very possible just because the sales on this one have been very high. A lot of people have been wanting this one. And again, even though we've had those bad rumors about quality control that's affected the hype a bit, but people are still out there buying their pairs and getting them to wear. Because again, these ones do hit better in hand. And a lot of people have been hearing the word about that because it, it's true, it really is. I was very surprised by these in hand. Uh, and, and that's just a fact, I can't even lie. You know, they, they did their thing. So shout out to Jordan, shout out Nike, very well done. But another thing I wanna mention about this one as a whole, if you were to hold this one, it's again, not, not that type of short term thing. And you know how I got, uh, you know how I am about my you know kind of long-term holds i don't tend to hold one or two pairs of something that is a long-term hold something that ends up being an eight to ten to twelve month hold this one would be most profitable uh geez it would be most profitable if you just held it on held on to it for a year and then just kind of forgot about it that's what i'm going to do honestly get five to probably eight to ten pairs so five to ten pairs and then i'm honestly just going to get them in bigger sizes so ten and a half plus or ten up and then i'm just going to hold them put them in my closet pretty much forget about them and then a year later these will probably honestly be sitting in a nice 400 to 450 dollars maybe even 500 dollars i think that is very very possible fours are in right now just go look at how top pace force did you knew fours Go look at um, Fire Red 4s. Go look at Oreo 4s. I mean, there, there's 4s are in. 4s are the new ones. You know how Jordan 1s are doing right now? 4s are basically taking over. 4s are going to be the shoe of 2022. I can, I can almost guarantee that. For Jordan, it'll be Jordan 2s and it'll be Jordan 4s. They're going to be really, really pushing the Jordan 2 this year once we get later into the year. But obviously, I'm going to be rejecting that like Shaq uh, at the line right there or Shaq trying to take a free throw. I will be like, ooh, Jordan 2, I hate that. You know, just, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a Jordan 2 fan and I'm not just going to hop on the hype. You know, I'm not I'm not going to do that. All right. Just because I, I, I y'all remember what I said about the off-white twos. I said those look like clown shoes and I stand by that. Those red and white Chicago off-white twos, clown shoes. They are. They're the most expensive clown shoes in the world. I love you, Virgil. Obviously, rest in peace. But you know, some people like them, so I can't be talking. So again, that's what I think about this one as a hold. 450 to $500 in honestly a year. That's probably where I could see this as a hold if you're willing to hold it for a year. Of course, this one could probably easily hit 400 plus in the next eight months. But you have to keep in mind, there is a restock coming up. And it does depend on how big the size of the restock is. The restock is next month. Uh, and I believe that's rumored. It's rumored that on All-Star Day, the Lightning, not the Lightning Fours, but you know Thunder Red Fours and a couple other recent models like Atmosphere Ones, things like that are going to be restocking. None of it's confirmed, but obviously if it does, the price will drop a bit. And you know that that's not a big, you know, it's not a big deal. You know, I, I honestly would like to see more people get their pairs to wear because it's a dope shoe, and uh, I'm surprised more people are not rocking with it just based off quality control. Because you can just, you know, you can get a pair. I get it. But if I had a pair come in that was bad quality, I would probably be on their boat. So. Well, into the outro again, if y'all want more content like this, more sneaker unboxing videos, sneaker investing videos, wants to just kind of help you out, then feel free to subscribe and like down below. Uh, pray for your boy's busy day. <laughs> um, you know, just typical Thursdays. I got some classes I got to go to. Um, you know, Thursdays and Tuesdays tend to be my most busy days. So that's really just been the case. And yeah, you know, just again, like, well, I think I said it was 210 likes. So if you could hit that dope, if not, again, I'm not really stressing it. And uh, yeah, I'm Tristan. Thank you guys for watching. Leave your questions, comments, concerns, any of that down below. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get ready for class. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. I don't want to go to these classes. Hopefully I just pop up and pop off on YouTube. Honestly, just <laughs> this ain't working for me, G. Peace. Freeze, 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 freeze. Come on. Yeah. And I... Keeping it together, cause you know that it's the weather we all in all. We can make this shit together, I swear, any type of weather is all in all.